Hey there, this is Dane from FeatherProp.com. Thanks for joining me here today. As I've mentioned before, YouTube likes to make suggestions on videos that they believe I'm going to enjoy. Recently, a video popped up on my feed at the suggestion of YouTube called The Bible Verse That Could Destroy Protestantism. It's from the YouTube channel of Dr. Douglas Beaumont, who of other things is a Catholic apologist. I'd never heard of Dr. Beaumont before, but I was intrigued enough by the title to click on the video and watch it. I found it interesting enough that I thought it might be something good to discuss here on my channel. Now, Dr. Beaumont seems to be a pretty engaging guy, and I found him easy to watch and to understand. But first, let me take the time to point out, as I have done in the past, that I am completely disinterested in bashing our Roman Catholic brothers and sisters. If a person loves and serves Jesus in the Catholic tradition, then they are my family member, and I don't tolerate speaking despairingly of them. The purpose of this video is to respond to a theological matter, not a people. Please keep that in mind. Okay, Dr. Beaumont argues in his video that there's a verse of scripture, James 2.24, that is quite detrimental to the Protestant position. Not because non-Catholics can't respond to the verse, but because in doing so, he contends, Protestants must surrender one of their foundational beliefs. James 2.24 reads, you see that a person is justified by works and not by faith alone. So let me lay out Dr. Beaumont's argument as I understand it. Dr. Beaumont suggests, one, Protestants believe in faith alone and the Bible alone. Two, Scripture plainly says in James 2.24 that we are not justified by faith alone. Three, because this passage appears troublesome to Protestant dogma, Protestants appeal to their tradition to understand it. Four, by appealing to, tra to tradition, Protestants demonstrate that we don't go by Scripture alone. Now, this is how Dr. Beaumont believes that Protestantism could be destroyed. So let's take a look at his argument point by point. We'll start with number one, that Protestants believe in faith alone and the Bible alone. Well, I can't speak for all Protestants, but many do hold to those foundational beliefs. However, I'll point out that the scripture does not say anywhere that we must follow scripture alone and that the words faith alone only appear in the verse that we just read that says we are not saved by faith alone. Both of these statements came out of the Reformation in response to the Roman Catholic Church. While I don't really have a problem with them, I don't live or buy, die by them either. For the purpose of this video, I'll just concede to point number one, though we will have to talk about the understanding of Scripture alone a bit later. Okay, so point number two is the passage from James 2.24, and we will most certainly agree with that. It's number three, though, that we will have to spend some time. Dr. Bowman argues that to reinterpret the obvious clarity of James 2.24, we must appeal to our non-Catholic traditions. Here's a quick clip from his video. Now again, I'm not saying that Protestants haven't found ways to theologize their way around what seem to be fairly clear scriptures. But what many of them don't realize is that once you do that, you're not simply relying on Scripture. You're relying on an interpretation of Scripture. And therefore, it is really your particular tradition that is guiding the authority of those passages and not the passages themselves. This is where I believe the misunderstanding begins. Now, let me point out that I can't speak for all Protestants here, but can only share how this argument in no way threatens my non-Catholic position. First, me and many of the non-Catholics I worship with don't reject tradition. We have many traditions in the life of our church that we enjoy. We fully recognize that traditions can contribute to the life of the church. We ideally want our traditions to be in accordance with Scripture and certainly never in opposition to it. The rallying cry of sola scriptura, or Scripture alone, came out of the Reformation, which really kind of began with Martin Luther's opposition to the Catholic tradition of the selling of indulgences. Luther rightly observed that the selling of an indulgence was not supported by Scripture. He wrongly assumed that if the Pope only knew how indulgences were being preached, that he would swiftly change things. And so, out of this situation, Protestants began to challenge the Catholic Church on their traditions and came up with the slogan, Scripture alone. Again, I'm not defending that position here, but as far as interpreting James 2.24 out of my tradition, I completely disagree with Dr. Beaumont. 
The tension caused by that verse is not between Catholics and Protestants, or even between Protestants and the scripture alone rallying cry. Rather, it's found between the Apostle James and the Apostle Paul. Paul wrote, we are saved by grace through faith and not by works. Yet James said, we are saved by works and not by faith. Now, I suppose it's possible that a Protestant might think to themselves that they have to interpret one or both of these passages to keep with their tradition. However, I don't know anyone who actually does that. Rather, what I do is compare both passages, not to any tradition, but to the whole of Scripture. I might consider what those who came before me taught, but I'm not bound by that. In many theological issues, I actually agree with my Catholic brothers and sisters, not because of their authority, but because I agree with their reasoning. Now, I know that will make a lot of Catholics very nervous. But you see, this demonstrates what I believe is a fundamental difference between the Catholic mindset and the Protestant mindset in determining what Scripture teaches. Catholics look to the authority of the church and also to the authority of tradition to reveal to them the interpretation. Both are binding. So when they try to understand how a Protestant seeks to interpret scripture, they just assume the same thing is true, that Protestants will look to tradition as some sort of an authority. This, however, is not the case. Protestants generally do not consider traditions to be authoritative. Paul did tell the church in Thessalonica to hold to the traditions which you were taught, and I, of course, would be happy to follow those traditions if I knew what they were. But Paul didn't spell them out for us. I know the Catholic Church claims that they've preserved them, but I believe that history and the scriptures have demonstrated that's just simply not the case. So I don't believe James 2.24 destroys Protestantism. Instead, it demonstrates how differently Protestants and Catholics think in terms of authority. You know, I'm glad that Dr. Beaumont posted his video because I believe that it does a good job of challenging us to think and really makes for some great dialogue, which is something that I'm always interested in. So with that, I'm going to close this up and I hope to see you here next time.